Hey, 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 this is the boat doctor. Down here, it's beautiful bay. It's turned out nice. Wow, compared to this morning. Hey, this is a neat little 19. This looks huge for a 19. This is what they call the Yellowtail Edition Sea Chaser Arima 2023. It's got a ton of deck area. That's probably why they, why they call it Yellowtail for Altoona. Because you can still, it'd be a little cramped, but you could put four people in there drive. But look at the room in a 19 foot. <clears throat> that you gotta you tilt the motor down and take it and turn it around and repin it to use it but you got to remember you got to fold it or put it like it is because if you tilt that up and that's set out there you're going to end up cr cracking that or cracking your cowling i'm presuming it's got a built-in probably a 40 gallon tank i'm going to run off the shop tank i'm going to cut the line because these are auger clamped right here so i'm just going to cut it probably right here and then just add my well, actually, that's got a primer bulb on it, but so do I. So, I'll probably just undo it from up there, run dual bulbs. Ain't gonna hurt. Sea Star Hydraulic, and another thing they need to do is on the, right here, they need to wrench that down. The nut on the steering arm on the motor, it didn't get it all the way tight. It's a 150 uh, inline four cylinder, powerhouses, well bit, proven motors. Your oil drain here, you can change your own oil yourself. I suggest the first oil change, have us do it after that. You can do it yourself on both these. It's easier than changing it in the car. That's your freshwater flush. This is your backstop. <clears throat> do that. Go ahead and hook your hose to it. Do not start the motor when you use this one. Okay, there's your flush. If you do it, you put your flush, your earmuffs here. Turn water, start the motor. When you get done, turn the motor off. Then turn the water off. Always have water going to it. If you have a kind of weak water supply at home, put, use this, tee it off, and then use another hose there. And that one's only used for if the motor's warm. If it's cool, don't bother. Got a stainless steel saltwater Reliance, 14 by 17, 11 by 7, T99 tiller. You got a friction oil drain here, tiller handle. You got your forward reverse tension trim, tie downs, and, you ain't, and that bracket ain't coming off. They use 5200. <clears throat> looks like there's I don't know if this is a looks like there's a scratch right here I don't know if they did that from when they put the motor on but a nice looking boat hard top nice tall top t-tops but they need to straighten up that the anchor light so that's probably right he's probably okay on that because that needs to be twisted up so that's mounted right that's my bad I was gonna write a nasty note uh, dual wipers, short bow. Uh, we'll see how this thing rides. You know, it is back here a little ways instead of jammed all the way in the front. But this thing will go through anything. Uh, you got a good reverse down the back so that you should stable up. Deep V, some straights. Uh, and then you got a top mount coupler. Brake fluid right there. Two inch ball. This has got this uh, loader right elite trailer channel this is the way to go you don't have to worry about water hanging up in the tubes galvanized tight or rims good tires brakes discs and these are like i say total salt water protected you got sinks on every cylinder sinks on the block you got zinc here zinc down there stainless prop shaft drive shafts on both of these this high thrust has got a 25 Yamaha gear case, so it's got the thrust. Plus, you can see my pink gear, back pressure. That's why it lets it escape instead of building up. That's why you got more reverse power and forward power. You got trim tabs, pole holders. You got load guides here. Water runoff comes out and comes out that gutter. Nice tall canopy so you can stand up in it. Fish boxes. And see this, he's okay. All you have to do is loosen this and then straighten this up. So we're fine. And again, this, you have to pull the pins, flop it down when the motor's down. And then your wash down hose is right there. I think your batteries are here. You have to lift up. Yep, there's your battery switch. Like this. And your fuel tanks right there, up underneath built in and I can so 
like I say, I don't know if it had. Looks like it. I don't know if it doesn't, it doesn't. Looks like there's fuel in it, but. Give me a rock. Well, the gate says nothing, so I'm gonna run it off. And there's your wash down hose right there. Fish boxes, coolers, and they like it, insulate these. Swivel, sliders, grab handle. Sea dog wipers. Porta pot, all the little plugs are inside. Okay, I don't know if this has cushions, I doubt it. Because this is a sun chaser or yellow fin. Now this is kind of cool, got to push see how long these last but they should lie up wipers push buttons lights come nav lights work boards down that's your anchor light build pump works and spreader lights the light back there that works trim tabs key switch fuel gauge I'm not sure on no hours on it, but I don't see it flinching when I turn the key. So I'm not sure on that. Okay, the trim, that works. So we're gonna take this out. Actually, T-tops, it's got a lot of headroom. Got a light here that works. So I'm gonna be kinda anxious. I know we're sitting up here where they could hit, but uh, we'll see what, what's going on. Okay, this is Boat Doctor out.